to my first YouTube video, instructional video. I've never done this before, so bear with me. Um, I did a quick search on YouTube for this information. I, I couldn't find it anywhere, so let's get right to it. Um, the uh, software application Sample Tank 4 by IK Multimedia is a really nice free uh, plugin that you can download. It comes with all these presets and it's quite a lot of fun to use. You can purchase other uh, sample packs. The uh, thing with it though is that it can't really um, use the macro knobs on your USB controller with it. At least it appears that way. I, I scoured the internet for information, try to figure out how to do this and it took me a really long time. It was driving me crazy for the longest time trying to get this to work and finally I figured out how to do it and I figured if I was having problems other people were probably as well. So I figured I'd take a moment to uh, record a video about how to do this. So uh, one of the key factors in this turns out is, um, so first of all, I'm in Ableton Live, uh, Ableton 10, and um, so I have a, uh, one of the key factors of making this work is that it turns out you need a, uh, a mouse with uh, two buttons, and I'll show why in a minute. So first up, I'm going to launch Able to, well, I have Ableton Live running already. I'm going to launch Sample Tank 4 and put it in a MIDI, open MIDI channel and get this up and running. So, so I am going to load an instrument. Um, let's take something off of the memory V. Double click. So down here you have your macro knobs for you know cutoff resonance what what have you normally you would with uh, Ableton you would go to you'd open up this uh, triangle here and you would go configure let's see if it'll do it there we go configure and then you would take your MIDI controller there we are I have an Akai APC 25 and you would just assign these knobs to the macros and you would do that normally by clicking on the knob and turning it and when you did that something would appear here under in your configure but when you do a sample tank nothing happens try again give it a minute try again with resonance resonance uh nothing nothing's happening every time every time you click one nothing happens um and if you try come on takes a minute if you try control clicking again i'm on a mac so control click that would normally give you a list of options but it gives you nothing control clicking gives you absolutely nothing so this as much as I love this this synth, it was really problematic for doing any kind of live uh, modulation. So, found a way to make it work. What you got to do is, like I said, you're going to need a mouse with two buttons for some reason. Um, and what you're going to do is configure it. So. You're going to take your mouse, you scroll over the button you want to do, and you're going to right click on that. And once you right click with the mouse, suddenly you have all these options down here. See them? There they are. Now, normally you would hit MIDI Learn, and that's not the case with this one. For some reason, instead of MIDI Learn, you want to go down to Automate. Click Automate, and now you'll see whoa, there's a parameter one now listed under Configure. So I'm going to quickly go through and do the rest. So right click, automate on the next one, right click, automate, right click, automate, right click, automate, so on and so forth. All right, so now I've done it eight times, close out of this. So next what you would do with Ableton is you would then uh, command G you would group it you group your instrument to make a instrument rack uh, You would click on this button to open up your macro 
settings. You go to map, then you do just like you normally would. Select the parameter and map it to knob one. Two to two, three to three, so on and so forth. Okay, take, uh, turn off map. Uh, so now, when I pick up my controller and I turn knob one, oops, forgot a step. I have to set it to do control the device. There we go, control device. Now, turn the knob and there you go. Parameter one is now moving. Two. Fun times. Now we're cooking with gas. So, last but not least, you just Command R, name this sample tank, and don't forget to save it. Save. There it is. Turn. And so now, anytime I open up sample tank, let's go to the uh, edit page, here we go. You can see now, as I'm turning the knob on the controller, the cutoff is now modulating. Next one over, resonance. There we are, back in business. So, close out of that, and then if I, if I delete the plugin, I can grab my saved instrument rack, Drop it in. Give it a minute, of course. There it is. And then I try turning the knobs again, and there they are, parameters. Let's make sure it's actually doing it. Let's go back to the modulation page. There it is, still works. It saved all that information. So hopefully you found that helpful. Let's see, like I said, the, the key seems to be having a mouse, a not a, not a Mac mouse, but one that has actually two physical buttons, and right-clicking on the physical button get, brings up the menu. Now, if you know a, another way of bringing up the the menu on the, uh, what do you call these? The macros. By all means, please leave a comment. Um, but hopefully, hopefully this saves some people some headaches out there. So, thanks for watching.